This is the real Tom Rose, and we're being asked to solve the following inequality, which uh, is, is never quite obvious to me what they mean when they say solve. But if you have one inequality with one variable, um, you can interpret this to mean um, get the variable alone on one side. And if you look at the answer choice in in choices, it confirms that, um, which is we want to use algebra to um, isolate that x and see what it is greater or less than. So let's, let's use the standard rule. So inequalities use all the standard rules of algebra. So we're just going to treat this like an equation. Uh, let's distribute and collect like terms. So we end up with um, 8x minus 24 minus 10x is less than or equal to negative 28. Um, collecting like terms, we end up with negative 2x, right? Add 24 to both sides. And we end up with, oops, I should say less than or equal to uh, negative four. Now we're going to do something which has a bit of a wrinkle, which is um, I'm going to divide both sides by negative two. And this is something you have to memorize about inequalities, just like you have to memorize a bunch of algebra rules. You need to memorize a few extra inequality rules. Um, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, that's totally legal. You can do it. It's just like algebra, except the sign flips direction when you do it. So I'm going to evaluate this just like I would a regular equation. So I'm going to cancel out terms. Um, negative 4 over negative 2 is 2, right? The negative cancels out, and 4 over 2 is 2. But when I write the sign, I'm going to flip it. And I did that because I divided by a negative number. So the answer here is x is greater than or equal to 2. And that'll be your correct answer.